Welcome to the spoken tutorial on design a CD label using Enscape. In this tutorial, we will learn to create a CD label template, design a CD label, save the file as PNG. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 12.04 OS, Enscape version 0.48.4. Let us open Enscape. Click on File and then on document properties change the width and height parameters to 425 pixels close the dialog box create a square using the rectangle tool color it red click on selector tool on the tool controls bar change the width and height parameters to 425 next draw a circle using the ellipse tool once again Click on the selector tool. On the tool controls bar, change the width and height parameters to 425. Select both the circle and the square. Go to object menu. Click on align and distribute. Set the relative to option to page. Align the objects in the center. Go to path menu. Select difference. Now draw another circle. Once again, Click on the selector tool. Change the height and width parameters to 85. Align it to the center of the page using align and distribute. Select both the shapes. Since this is the template, we will change the color to white. So it may not be visible now. Go to layer menu and click on layers. Change the name of the current layer to CD template. Lock the layer to avoid the movement of the elements in the layer by mistake. Now let us create another layer and name it as CD design. Place it below the CD template layer. Now our CD template is ready. We can use this for creating various CDs in the future. Let us save our SVG file. Go to file and click on save as. I will save it on the desktop. I will type the file name as CD template and click on save. Now we will work on the CD design layer. Let us design a background. For this draw a square using the rectangle tool. Since the color is white it may not be visible. Change the color to light blue. Click on the selector tool. Then change the width and height parameters to 425. Align it to the center. Now we can see the background color within the boundaries. Let us now design a graphic illustration. Draw a gradient green. Select the Bezier tool and draw a curvy illustration. Next, let us import the spoken tutorial logo. The logo has been provided in the code files link. Go to file and click on import. Resize the logo and place it on the top of the illustration. Type spoken tutorial to the right of the logo. Change the font size to 20. Type partner with us help bridge the digital divide on the next line. Change the font size to 8. I will type the contact details at the bottom of the CD label. Let me copy the contact details from a LibreOffice Writer file that I had saved earlier. Now paste this in the bottom area. Make contact as bold and align it in center. Change the text color to blue. Next, we will add some images on the right of the CD label. I have already made an image collage and saved it in my documents folder. The same image has been provided in your code files link. Please check the folder in which you saved it. Now click on file, then on import and lastly select image 1. Now the image is imported here. Resize the image. I will place it on the right side of the CD label. Let us save the SVG file by clicking on file and save as. I will type the file name as 
ST CD label and click on save. Now our CD label is ready. Let us learn how to export the file in PNG format. Go to file and click on export bitmap. A new dialog box will appear. Click on page tab under export area. Under bitmap size, change the DPI to 300. Then click on the browse button. I will choose desktop as the location to save the file. And I will type the file name as st-cd-label and click on save. Lastly, click on export button. Let us now go to the desktop and check our file. Our CD label looks like this. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learn to create a CD label template, design a CD label, save the file in PNG format. Here is an assignment for you. Create a CD label for Inkscape. Your completed assignment should look like this. The video available at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please watch it. The Spoken Tutorial Project team conducts workshops and gives certificates for those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to us. Spoken Tutorial Project is supported by the NME ICT MHRD Government of India. More information on this mission is available at this link. We have come to the end of this tutorial. This is Aarti and Saurabh from IIT Bombay signing off. Thanks for joining.